How can the birth of one child be a cause of hope to every person living in Nottingham and in villages and towns across this diocese, especially against the backdrop of this past year with all the challenges that we've been living through? We all need hope. Hope in our NHS, hope for patients, hope for children and young people in our schools, hope for students, hope for those struggling to keep their businesses going, hope for those without jobs, hope for the homeless, hope for the elderly, hope in our care homes. Jesus came to be the light of the world and the hope of every nation. There have been plenty of suggestions about cancelling 2020 and maybe there are a fair few who would like to skip Christmas this year. But we need Christmas because we need hope. This is no time to retreat. We need to charge the darkness with the light of Christ. And the good news is that Jesus didn't only come for religious people. He was born for everyone, a saviour for the whole world. Which means there is no street we have ever walked down and no home that we have ever passed where his light and his hope cannot reach. It's why we sing those words from the carol, yet in the dark streets shines the everlasting life. There is no life however frail and no heart however broken that God's light cannot touch and transform. This is why the birth of Jesus is such a shining hope for our world on its knees in the middle of a pandemic with all its terrible consequences and complications. We don't need to pretend that life is fine or even be confident that next year will surely be better. All we need to know is that God is with us, with us in the messiness of life, in the struggles and in the stresses and in the loneliest moments. And he understands the darkness more than we could ever imagine. From the manger all the way to the cross, Jesus is dispelling the darkness, including the darkness that hides within us and sometimes seems to overwhelm us. He brings the light of forgiveness and new life, which is not just for now, but forever. This is truly wonderful. So let's celebrate Christmas 2020 like never before. We'll need to do things differently this year to stay safe and look after others, but we can put Jesus right back in the center of our celebrations and let his light shine in the darkness. Churches across the city and around the county will continue to do what they've been doing all year, to care for others with acts of kindness and generosity. There will also be Christmas carols and readings online and hopefully in person too. But there is something we can all join with. Each time we turn on our own Christmas lights, whatever form they take, we can say a prayer for those that we know and those in need. To pray for our neighbours, to pray for our loved ones near and far away, to pray for our world. Lord, let your everlasting light shine in the darkness. You may even like to join in by sharing a short video, turning on your own Christmas lights, and why not share it on social media? Whatever this Christmas holds for you and for our world, may God bless you. Because of Jesus, there is always hope. God's light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out.